I'm starting this video off in bed um, a little bit different, actually a lot different to my usual videos, but um, I'm going to be in bed for most of the day today and I still wanted to get a video up um, tomorrow for you guys and I really do want to try get back on track with posting Mondays and Fridays. Um, so I do struggle to talk about, you know, personal things but I have been wanting to do sort of like a let's sit down and chat video for a little while because um, I don't know I feel like I have been going through a little bit mentally and I don't really share that side of myself with you guys I'm kind of just like I do want to try and keep my videos real so that way I can hopefully create you know, a nice positive space on my channel and a bit of a community, hopefully. Um, but I am in bed right now. We got home from the hospital last night, actually early this morning, roughly around 3.30 in the morning. Um, and I had this sudden pain come on last night and it was excruciating, honestly. It was just the worst pain ever. Um, down in my ovaries, my lower abdomen. So um, Anton took me to the hospital. We had to take the boys with us because I couldn't drive. So unfortunately we had to take them with us. Um, and we got there and um, one of the nurses helped Anton get me out and into a wheelchair and just took me straight through to emergency. But the pain that I was going through was just so so bad it just it started and I thought it was like all right but then it just gradually got worse and worse and worse um so I told Anton I was like we need to go to the hospital because something's wrong um and yeah it was already pretty late so it was already you know maybe like 11 11 30 at night so yeah they just run some tests on me gave me some really strong painkillers to help with the pain um, and did some blood tests and all that. And they basically think it's an ovarian cyst burst. So I had a cyst in my ovaries and it burst. Um, so that's, yeah, the pain was like a stabbing, just like a really, really bad pain. So once I got my um, blood test results back last night, the nurses said that they think I'm anemic. Um, so I pulled up on Google just so I could explain to you guys. Um, what that is just in case you didn't know because I didn't really know what that was either um, so okay so anemia is a condition in which you lack enough healthy red blood cells to carry ad adequate oxygen to your body's tissues having anemia can make you feel tired and weak there are many forms each with its own cause it can be temporary or long term and it can range from mild to severe. So basically I have um, really low iron as well, which I knew because I've, um, yeah, I've had really low iron before and I've been on iron tablets before. I'm, I'm not taking any iron tablets at the moment, but I think I'm going to have to start taking some more iron tablets. They said I might even need an infusion, um, but I just need to go and get my levels tested and all that. So that's basically what's been going on with me. It was just last night that I was in the most worst pain. I just can't even describe it. If you guys have had one before, then you would know how painful it is. I've actually had um, a cyst in my ovaries before. I can't quite remember if it burst or not, but I was in hospital for it as well. Um, and they are very, very painful. So they said it should, um, the pain should go over the next few days. I meant to go to work tomorrow and the next day, but I don't see that happening. Anton's currently taking the boys out to the park because, let me just change hands. Oh, because um, I promised the boys that would go to the park today. We're meant to meet up with some friends and they're meant to go out and have a nice play. But I cannot move around at the moment my pa the pain is just it's still there it was a 10 last night and now it's a five but i just need to like rest and let it get better so yeah anton's out of the at the park with the boys and i'm just chilling at home right now in bed um but yeah i don't even know if i'm gonna post this up you guys like i want to share 
more with you guys because I feel like I'm not exactly that open about certain things. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still super tired. Anton's so tired. He barely got any sleep last night. He, t he takes such good care of the boys, you guys. He's such a good dad to Kingston and Kyrie. Like, oh, when I watch him, especially at times when like I need his help, like more than ever, like when times when I'm sick or in pain, he just like steps up even more and it just oh, makes me fall in love with him so much more. But he's such a good dad. He's like running off no sleep right now because he came off night shift um, two nights ago as well. So he struggles to come off night shift. So he doesn't really sleep um, through the night. He'll get like a couple of hours in the more early morning and then we'll end up waking him up. But yeah, I'm so lucky to have such a helpful partner, such a loving and caring partner as well. So yeah, also another thing that I might as well talk about while we're sitting down having a chat because I don't think there's going to be much else happening in this video. Sorry guys. Um, is that I was going through some, I don't know what, what it was, but just like some mental health things that I was putting on myself, just stress. I was feeling really overwhelmed from absolutely nothing. Like I just wake up feeling anxious and overwhelmed straight away. Hang on, my dad's calling, I better answer. All right, so it's the next day. I've just put some hand sanitizer on because I just got out of my doctor's appointment. Um, they took more bloods, so those results should come back hopefully in the next couple of days. Um, I also have a referral for my ultrasound, which I'm going to call up and book just in a second. But um, the pain is feeling so much better. It just feels like a bruise now, like a really big bruise down there. So um, hopefully the ultrasound will be able to tell us exactly what it was because the when I was in hospital on Saturday night, they didn't really give me any answers. They just gave me a whole heap of painkillers. Um, but yeah, after I spoke to you guys yesterday... Um, oh yeah, my dad called. My mum then called after I spoke to my dad and then and Anton and the boys got back from the park. So um, yeah, I just didn't want to get the camera out while I was talking to everybody. So hopefully the tests come back in the next few days and we find out what's going on, especially um, with my iron levels and all that because I would love to have some energy back, you guys. Like another reason why I haven't been vlogging as much as what I want to be is just because I wake up exhausted already from nothing and to be honest I thought that was like a normal thing just for a mum of young kids um, and I'm even out of breath a lot as well so hopefully we can just figure out what's going on with my health and yeah I thought I would share this with you guys because I'm not um, that open with like that kind of stuff I guess so yeah I thought I'd share it just in case anyone else is going through the same sort of thing and we could help each other through it so I'm gonna get home to the boys now because I've been gone for a little while and have some breakfast because I haven't eaten today and I've just had like lots of blood taken so <laughs> I need to eat I feel a little bit sick so that was a little update for you. I want to try and be a little bit more open with my videos so that way we can sort of like understand each other a little bit more and maybe I could help some of you out if you're going through the same sort of thing. But um, it just makes so much sense to me that um, there's something going on with my health just because of how I've been feeling the past month, even to the last two months, just how tired and exhausted I've been, feeling weak and that's not how I usually feel. So. Um, I'm usually pr pretty energetic and, um, you know, I usually, you guys would see in some of my videos, like I do a lot during the day usually, but the past month has just been really slow for me and I've just been real tired and haven't been doing much at all. So hopefully we can get to the bottom of this together and I really appreciate the support you guys, I really do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have been through the same sort of thing. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.